to me, it's important to recognize an interest in, in the environment, in ecology, and in the body, and how we relate to our physical world, that that's all connected, that we can't separate ourselves from the world that we live in. I'd like to think uh, that in pausing to notice what's happening on my paper, let it do its thing. Uh, it also, I hope, it lends itself to me living with my head up and my eyes looking outward. We create a concept and a definition of what something is, and then when it overlaps and it doesn't fit in that box, it becomes this beautiful space where all of our ideas can grow. My name is Esther Hoflick. I am from Ontario originally and I'm currently based in Grand Prairie, Alberta. I think my creative process has always been just like, I almost feel like I'm trying to take the solidity out of my like mind and out of my body and just sort of let something filter through. It's almost like my eyes are half open. I'm half seeing what I'm making and I'm half seeing a memory or an image in my mind. And then when I kind of refocus my eyes, there's something there to look at. I'm adding marks and I'm also taking marks away. So the way that the plaster functions, that it absorbs the paint into the first like, you know, little bit of it, but you can also take sandpaper and rub it off and it's completely gone. And you can add more and you can make a line and you can rub that off too. I think that's really important for me because um, I don't want it to be too solid. I want it to be sort of transparent and translucent and there's multiple images sort of layered on top of themselves because I think of memory that way and I also just think of relationship or that transition from waking and dreaming where the symbols sort of ooze in and out of the subconscious and the conscious world. My name is Elizabeth Hutchinson and I am an artist and an arts integration teacher and a parent and I live here in Grand Prairie and I'm from the East Coast. When I think of home, I'm from Hampton, New Brunswick and it's this really beautiful landscape because it's where the St. John River turns into the Kennebecasis and it turns into a delta and it's all these tiny little tributaries and marshland where there's rolling green hills and then the water mixes and the land and the water are together and the sky reflects. So in the Nostalgia series, I was playing with how to get at the essence of that feeling by suggesting that mix of water, land and sky. So it's got some silver that, depending on the light source in the room, the water lights up in different ways and the sense of boundary and a stiff line in between each of those three disappears. As an artist, if I want my art to have meaning and I want to talk about things that I think maybe leave the best impact or have the best purpose that I can offer in an authentic way, then it's to talk about connection with nature and healing and hope and beauty and bringing that back into a conversation. I'm Angela Fair. I'm a watercolor artist from Dawson Creek. My first memories are of the Peace River and um, my favorite memories are of the Peace River as well. We cross the river every day to go to town and you notice what the river is doing and you know it's always changing, it's always moving. The water is, is everything because for watercolor, you, without water you don't have anything. The water I use to paint comes from the groundwater from our well. And, um, and I'm painting very often water with water, <laughs> so it's, it's all connected. Watercolor is easily overlooked, but for those who pause and get closer, you know, there's nuance and there's complexity. And, you know, the colors you create when you let different pigments flow together, they're subtle and beautiful and you just can't do it with any other medium. So to step close and see those, those little tiny um, beautiful changes, I just feel like there's this noticing that happens that's really special. And as an artist, I want to be more present so I can see beautiful things in the mundane or in the busyness of life or, you know, in that same boring ditch that I pass every time I drive the same road to town, you know, let's look for 
for beautiful things. Let's be present so that I don't miss anything in this little gift of the present time that I have.